to the probability of z is equal to 0 0.5, ito yung area na yan, plus yung red area natin, 0 0.2734, and the probability now is equal to... Hi everyone, this is Ashley Guzman, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this tutorial video, we are going to discuss how to solve standard normal distribution using the z-table. So, without further ado, let's begin. The most important continuous probability distribution in the entire field of statistics is the normal distribution. It is often referred to as the Gaussian distribution. So, yung Gaussian distribution in honor of Carl Friedrich Gauss who also derived the equation from his study of errors in repeated measurements of the same quantity. His graph called the normal curve and it is a bell-shaped curve which approximately describes many phenomena that occur in nature, industry, and in research. So, ito yung kanyang graph for normal distribution. So, yung continuous random variable, say x, having the bell-shaped distribution like this curve, ay tinatawag natin na normal random variable. So, yung mathematical equation for the probability distribution of the normal variable depends on the two parameters, yung mean and yung standard deviation. The density of the normal random variable x with mean and the variance is with this equation. So, this is the equation for the normal distribution. And under normal distribution, meron tayong tinatawag na standard normal distribution. Paano ba natin masasabi na yung normal distribution ay standard? Standard normal distribution is a distribution of a normal random variable with mean equal to 0 and yung variance naman is 1. So, ganun ang tatandaan natin kapag yung mean na given is 0 and yung variance is equal to 1, ibig sabihin siya ay standard. So, in solving probabilities for standard normal distribution, gumagamit tayo ng tinatawag na standard normal table or mas familiar sa tawag na z-table. And yung probability na hinahanap natin in normal distribution is equivalent dun sa areas under the normal curve with a different mean and variance. So, gagawin natin kapag pagkaganon, so ang gagawin natin for that situation, we convert to standard units and gagamitin nga natin yung z-table. So, this is our z-table. Dito natin kukuhanin yung mga equivalent values na ibibigay sa atin sa problem na value ng Z natin. So, itong table na to provides areas in the left-hand tail of the curve for values ng Z. Other areas can be calculated by subtraction. And we should remember that ang area natin under that curve is equal to 1. Example number 1, find the area under the normal curve to the left of Z equals 0 0.47. Para mas ma-visualize natin yung normal distribution, i-draw muna natin yung normal curve. Ito yung ating mean which is equal to 0. Since nasa standard normal distribution tayo and ilolocate natin nasan ba yung z na, na 0 0.47. So as we can see, this is a positive z. Positive side kasi is etong part na to and eto naman yung ating negative side. So yung 0 0.47 is assuming eto siya. After nating may draw yung figure, according to the problem, ang required kasi sa atin is yung area under the normal curve to the left of z. So, ito yung ating given na z. And ang left niya, of course, is lahat ng ito. So, to solve for the area, kailangan alam muna natin yung equivalent area value nung 0 0.47 na z na given sa atin. So, using the z table, so we have 0 0.47. Paano ba natin nahanapin yung exact value for 0 0.47? So, ang 0 0.4 natin is etong part na to, and we have 7. So, yung 7 natin is etong part na to. So, intersection nila ang ilolocate natin. So, from here, eto siya, and eto. That means, ang area value ng 0 0.47 is equal to 0 0.1808. Nasaan ba yung 0 0.1808 na yan? So, magsa-start siya, lahat ng area sa normal curve na manggagaling sa z-table ay eh magsa-start dun sa mean natin dito sa gitna. So, ibig sabihin, yung 0 0.1808 na area is eto. Etong part na to. 
Kaya lang, ang question is, ano daw ba yung area to the left of Z? So, ibig sabihin, meron na tayong alam na area which is 0.1808 and kailangan na lang natin is yung area ng part na to. And remember, ang area ng buong normal curve, eto, from here hanggang dito, since this is infinity and this is negative infinity, ang area ng buong n is equal to 1. Ibig sabihin, yung kalahati, since nasa gitna yung ating mean na 0, this is 0.5. So, pag isinold na natin yung area, simply ang gagawin lang natin is, we will add the area of 0.5 nitong kalahati, eto, plus dito sa area ng 0.47 which is 0.1808. So, the area is equal to 0.5, yung area ng kalahati ng normal curve, plus yung 0.1808. So, the area now is equal to 0.6808. So, this is the answer for example number 1. Example number 2, find the area under the normal curve to the right of z equals positive 1.38. Draw mo na ulit natin yung normal curve. And ang mean natin is ito, nasa gitna ulit, which is equal to 0. Locate mo na natin kung nasa yung z. So, nasa positive side. Ito yung positive side, of course, and ito yung negative side. 1.38, say, nandito siya sa part na to. 1.38 Ang tinatanong na area is yung nasa kanan or nasa right ng Z natin which is etong part na to. So usually, ang gagawin lang naman natin to solve for the areas is arithmetic lang. Kaya lang, kailangan alam natin yung corresponding values ng Z na ibibigay sa atin. And from the table ulit natin, eto yan. Asan ba yung 1.38? So, eto yung Z natin. This is 1.3 And ang 8 natin is ito. So, yung intersection nila, 1.38 from here hanggang dito. And ito siya. Ibig sabihin, ito ang kanilang intersection. The value, the equivalent value na area for Z natin na 1.38 is 0.4162. Ang tinatanong sa atin is yung area to the right ng Z na yun. Ito. So, paano gagawin natin dyan? So, the area... Mag-focus na lang tayo dito sa kalahati. Ang area ng kalahati na to is 0.5. And ang value ng 1.38 natin is 0.4162 coming from the mean natin na 0. Eto. So, itong part na to ay equal sa 0.4162. So, paano natin malalaman yung part na to? Isusubtract natin yung 0.4162 sa 0.5. And the area now is equal to 0.0838. So this is the area for this given problem and this is example number 2. Example number 3. Find the area under the normal curve between Z equals 0.71 and Z equals 1.28. So... Sa problem na to, dalawa na yung given sa atin na Z. Para mas ma-visualize natin, i-draw natin yung figure. Ayan yung ating normal curve. And ito yung ating mean na 0. Start tayo sa positive 0.71. Say, ito siya. 0.71. And yung positive 1.28. Between 0.71 and 1.28 ang area na required sa atin. So, ito siya. Kaya lang, paano natin isasolve yan? Again, using the Z table. So, ang value for 0.71, ito yung ating 0.7, and ito yung ating 1. So, 0.71 is 0.2612. Yung area na yan is, say, itong mean ulit natin, and ito yung 0.71. Ito yung, ito yung area na yan, 0.2612. Next, for the 1.28 na value, ito yung ating 1.2 and ito yung 8. So, we have 0.3997. So, 
Ito yung sa 1.28 natin na value. Starting from the mean and then yung 1.28. Ito yan. Ito yung area na 0 0.3997. Kaya lang, ang tinatanong lang sa atin is yung in between. Ito. To solve for that, pwedeng subtraction na lang ang gawin natin. Yung area ng 1.28 minus the area of 0.71. And ito yung matitira nga dun. So the area is equal to 0.3997 minus 0.2612. So, para mas ma-visualize natin kung bakit subtraction yung ginamit natin to solve for the area. So, eto, nakikita natin itong figure. Yung red is yung the area of 0.071. And yung green naman is yung area for 1.28. So, to solve for the itong pagitan nila, yung minus natin, isusubtract natin yung area na red dun sa green. At ang matitira sa atin is yung part na to. That's why subtraction ang ginawa natin. So, the area now, 0.3997 minus 0.2612 is equal to 0.1385. So, this is the answer for example number 3. Example number 4, find the probability for the standard normal curve given P of 1.19 less than Z less than 2.12. Again, in normal distribution, yung area na sinasolve natin can be equivalent to the probability. Kung i-apply na natin siya isang problems. So, i-draw muna natin. So, itong probability na to is again given by the area under the normal curve between Z equals 1.19 and Z again na 2.12. So, parang example number 3 natin, kukunin lang natin yung in between dito sa dalawang values na to. So, i-draw muna natin. This is the mean equal to 0. Ang 1.19 natin is, say in this part, we have 1.19 and ito yung kanyang area na malalaman natin yung value using the Z table. For the value 2.12, say ito siya, 2.12 and yung kanyang area is from here hanggang dito. Again, yung area niya is from the Z-table. Malalaman natin. So, to solve for the area in between, ito siya. From here hanggang dito. Using the Z-table, alamin muna natin yung area for 1.19, yung red na shade natin. So, for 1.19, ito yung 1.1 hanggang 9. Ito siya sa dulo. So, from here hanggang dito. Ito yung area for 1.19. We have 0 0.3830. And for the area of 2.12, starting from here hanggang dito, ito yung column ng 2. We have 0 0.4830. 0 0.4830. To solve for the area in between 1.19 and 2.12, ito siya. Subtraction lang ulit ang gagawin natin. We have probability of 1.19 less than Z, less than 2.12. Again, yung area is, is equivalent to the probability. So, area ng green natin is 0 0.4830. 30 minus the area ng red natin na, or ng 1.9 is 0 0.3830. Solving for the probability, this is equal to 0 0.1 or 10% probability. So this is example number 4. Example number 5, find the probability for the standard normal curve given P of Z greater than negative 0 0.70. Five. So, let's draw first the figure or normal curve. Ito again, yung ating mean na 0. Given sa atin na value na Z ay 0 0.75 negative. So, nandito siya sa left side. This is negative and this is the positive side. Say, ito siya. 
Neg negative 0.75 and ang tinatanong na probability z greater than negative 0.75 daw and pag sinabi natin greater than ibig sabihin yung nasa right mas mataas dun sa 0.75 so eto siya from here hanggang dito lahat ng nasa right ng 0.75 and for example kung given sa atin is positive 0.75 and of course, nandito yung positive 0.75 na yun. At sinabing Z greater than 0.75 Ibig sabihin, ito siya Yung isunosolve natin, yung mas malaki sa 0.75 positive So, to solve for this area Using the Z table again look, Hanapin muna natin kung ano yung area ng 0.75 negative Ito yung 0.7 natin hanggang sa intersection ng column 5 Hanggang dito so, ito yung area ng 0.2734 na yan. Kaya lang, the question is, saan, asan yung exact location ng area na 0.2734? Take note, mapang positive or negative yung value ng Z na ibibigay sa atin, yung area niya is manggagaling pa din dun sa mean natin na 0. Ibig sabihin, yung area ng 0.75 negative na 2 point, eto, 2 point 7, 0 0.2734 is from here hanggang dito. Ito yung area na 0 0.2734. Kaya lang, ang sinasolve natin is yung area from here hanggang dito. So, paano natin isasolve yan? Since alam na natin yung kalahati ng normal curve ay 0 point 5 na agad, di add na lang natin 0 0.5 plus yung red area natin so the probability of z is equal to 0 0.5 ito yung area na yan plus yung red area natin 0 0.2734 and the probability now is equal to 0 0.7734 or we have 77.34% probability. So this is the answer for example number 5.